Today's video is going to be the start of a new exciting short series on the channel called My Top 5 Tips. And yes, I did say tips. I had to really concentrate when I was saying that one. So in this new series, I'm going to be giving you guys all my sort of top five running related tips, whether it be becoming a better runner, improving on your marathon time, tips to help you through your first ultra marathon. There's going to be lots of advice and sort of nuggets of information that will hopefully help you along the way. In this first episode, we are going to be focusing all on trail running. So let's dive into the video and give you my top five tips when it comes to hitting the trails. Welcome back folks and thanks for joining us at the channel again. I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. Hope everybody is fit and well out there and training hard. Now just before we dive into my top five trail running tips, some of you eagle-eyed viewers might notice that I've had a lot of different colored straps on my Chorus watch over the last couple of weeks. I've gone for a nice subtle black option today, but these silicon straps have actually been sent to me by the kind guys from Fit Straps UK. Now they just so happen to have the largest selection of replacement straps for fitness watches anywhere online and they also happen to be the sponsor of today's video. Fit Straps UK really is the one-stop shop when it comes to replacement straps for our fitness watches, no matter what brand you choose to wear. So whether it's Garmin, Apple, Sunto, Samsung, TomTom, Huawei, Polar, or Coros like myself, Fit Straps UK have got you covered. Great quality straps, lots of different styles, colors, and budgets to suit every runner's needs. Now, there was nothing really wrong with my original nylon strap on my Coros watch. I just fancied a bit of a change because by changing the strap out, it can really give an old watch a lift. So I've got this nice subtle black silicon strap on at the moment. But if I switch that to say orange, again, that watch is completely transformed with that brighter strap and looks super cool but I do like to wear bright running kit so I also like to mix and match my straps and I think my Chorus watch looks super cool with this two-tone combo on the straps and it really does feel like I'm running with a new watch on my wrist. Not only do Fit Straps UK have a great selection of quality replacement straps for our fitness watches but they've also been kind enough to give our wonderful viewers a discount code so if you pop this code in at checkout you will get a massive 25% saving off your first order. So what I'll do guys is I'll leave a link in the description below and in the pinned comment. And I just want to say a big thank you to Fit Straps UK for sponsoring this video. But anyway, let's get back to my top five trail running tips. So let's start off with tip number one, because I think that's probably the most practical place to start. So this is aimed at all those runners who would love to get out and experience a bit of trail running, but they are a little bit worried about running off roads. So they've never actually ventured out on the trails. The first thing I've got to say is don't worry about it. Now, I know it's very easy for me to say, but you really don't need to worry. And my advice would be to find something that's nice and easy to run on, a trail that's not overly technical. It's got good signposts and it's easy to follow because that takes away all that worry when it comes to self-navigation or getting lost. Even better, if you can bring along a couple of your running buddies, that tends to take the pressure off. Or even better still, if you've got someone who's experienced at trail running, grab them and bring them along with you as well. A lot of runners who've never been out on the trails get this kind of picture in their head of this scary, wet, slippery ridge line in between two aggressive looking mountains. And trail running really doesn't need to be that. Obviously it can be that if that's what you want, or you can keep it nice and easy. So uh, tip number one, if you are that runner who really wants to get out on the trails, but you're a little bit nervous about it, just keep it nice and simple. Out of my mind, how could I be so blind? How could I not see? Now our next tip is probably aimed at the slightly more experienced trail runner and it's all about running on technical terrain and you know I get asked at the channel a lot how do I get better how do I start running quicker when I'm out on technical trails and I've got to be honest it all comes down to practice like a lot of things in life so I've been running on the trails for years and years and I'd say when it comes to running on rocky slippery technical trails it was probably the last and the hardest skill to learn first things first you definitely want to be focused in what you're doing and i'd say 
gradually build up the level of technicality when it comes to the trails and gradually build up your pace as well and you'll find the more you do it the better you get at it and the more confidence you gain and it really does have a lot to do with how confident you're feeling and how relaxed you're feeling while you're out there running if you're worried about it and you're feeling anxious the body's going to be stiff and tight and that really doesn't help when it comes to running on technical trails. And lastly, try not to run just staring straight down at your feet when you are moving slightly quicker over technical terrain. Now, I know it sounds a bit weird and it seems like the obvious thing to do, but it really doesn't help when you are on technical stuff. It's something I did when I first started running out on the trails and I've got to be honest, I did have quite a few trips and I did fall over several times. So what's basically happening is, your brain doesn't have time to process the terrain and then get that signal down to your feet to tell them what to do. So literally, your feet can't keep up with the trails you're running on. So if you can look ahead about two or three meters and kind of memorize the terrain that's coming up, whether it be a section of technical rocks or a steep descent scattered with slippery roots, life is gonna be a lot easier because now your brain has enough time to process that terrain, send the signals down to your feet, and your feet can act and move accordingly depending on the terrain. Now this is a pretty tricky skill to learn. It's not gonna happen overnight, and it definitely takes quite a lot of practice, but once you've cracked it, it will feel so much easier and safer when you're running on technical trails. So moving on to tip number three, and this is another tip aimed at someone completely new to the glorious world of trail running, and someone who's never owned a pair of trail running shoes. Now like most things, when it comes down to running, trail shoe choice is super personal, and what works for me might not work for you. Now there's some great information online, including a couple of really good running related YouTube channels, which are a brilliant source of information, but you really can't be going to a quality running shop full of knowledgeable staff that has a great selection of trail running shoes and trying on as many different brands and as many pairs as possible. Now, when I was working in running retail, I took great pride in stocking as many different models and brands of trail shoe as possible. And I would sometimes have customers in trying on six, seven, eight, nine, ten different pairs of trail shoes. And they were always really surprised with how different they felt underfoot, how different they sized up or how different the width in the toe box was uh, every brand and every shoe will be very different from the next now I know unfortunately this is getting harder and harder to do nowadays with a lot of the bricks and mortar stores sadly closing unless you live in somewhere like the Lake District or Chamonix but if you can go along to a real quality running specialist and try on as many pairs as possible you're a lot more likely to get a trail running shoe that works best for you with it starting to cloud over in in the background we're going to move on rapidly to tip number four now when you're heading out on the trails you'll probably want to take a couple of items of kit with you items that i think are really important to have along on your run if you are heading out on the trails and this was something that i never did when i was road running so you're going to need some form of carrying system whether it's a quality running belt or a hydration vest or a running pack now if you're new to the world of trail running a running belt will probably do the job and give you enough storage for or a small soft flask or bottle of water, also maybe a little bit of nutrition, but most importantly, a fully charged mobile phone. I really do think if you are heading off the beaten track for the first time, then a fully charged mobile phone is an essential piece of kit. Obviously, it allows you to get hold of someone if you do have any issues. Hopefully that will never happen, but I also think it helps to calm a few nerves and kind of give you peace of mind knowing that you've got it with you.
Okay, as we start to make our way back to the studio, let's get stuck into tip number five. And I think this is one of the most important ones, and it is just make sure you enjoy yourself. So what I mean by that is think of your trail running as, you know, more of an adventure. Whenever we're out on the roads doing a session, it's a very different thing, a very different mindset. We tend to spend a lot of time thinking about the session, staring at our watches, worrying about the pace we're doing. Are we running too slow or too quick, depending on what the session is? So when you do hit the trails, just try and forget about all of that. Now, that can be pretty hard if you've been running on the roads for years and years, but I would say just get out there and run on feel, you know, don't try and hit any specific pacing because depending on how technical the trails are or how up and down the trails are that can be a real hard thing to do there's not a better feeling in the world than when you get out on some epic trails like i'm on today you get in that flow state and you're not worried about the session or the pace you're running and to be fair you're not really worried about anything it feels wicked so my advice is get out there Give trail running a go, see how it feels. Don't be worried that it is quite different to road running because you never know, you might really enjoy it. So there you have it folks, my top five running tips when it comes to getting out on the trails. Now obviously I know I'm very fortunate to live where I live and to have some incredible trails to run on literally on my doorstep and I know it won't be as easy for a lot of you guys out there but it will definitely be worth the effort in the long run. You know having a big mix in our training uh, is definitely a good thing, throwing in different sessions along the way so uh, even if you focus on road running, road racing, chucking in the odd trail session is a great way of having a variety in your training building fitness and strength which can only help when it comes to your road running really hope you enjoyed today's top five tips and you found them helpful guys don't forget if you do need a new strap on your fitness watch whether it's because your current one's looking a little bit worse for wear or you just fancy a change and you want to give your watch a new lease for life then definitely click on the link in our description or the pinned comment and go and check out all the quality straps that fitstraps uk have on offer don't forget to use our discount code though because that's going to get you a massive 25 percent saving off your first purchase I've got to say a massive shout out to Fitstraps UK for sponsoring this video. It really is a big help to the channel. Don't forget, if you have enjoyed the video, to like, comment, share and subscribe. But for now, guys, thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. We'll be back on the channel very soon. And as always, stay safe and keep on running. There I am talking about running on technical terrain and I've only gone and tripped over on the towers. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I was down before I knew it. I've just literally caught my foot in there and ended up flat on the floor on my face. I don't know. Don't listen to my advice. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs>